Hi, um, this is Ms. Scholes again, and I miss you students so much. I decided to make um, two really short videos for tonight. I did want to explain a little bit better what's going on right now with COVID-19. Um, your parents can look on the CDC website and see how many cases there are and things like that. But from the teaching side of things, the governor has decided to pay teachers and we are supposed to produce content for you. So I'm supposed to make videos for you, um, have um, access to games for you, and to basically make this a time of fun learning while you're at home. So the websites that we will use most frequently are right on the board. Um, MeganScholes.Weebly.com has three different pages of technology links. Um, if you click on the I Love My Second Graders page, that page is brand new and it has the assignments for this week on it. Um, the other things that we are hoping that you will do every day that is not a weekend day is to log on to reflexmath.com so that you can learn how to memorize the math facts in addition and subtraction that we have been working on all year. And then if you would go ahead and log on five days a week to razkids.com, I have set you at a level for the present time. And so you will be choosing any book you want. There's usually at least 20 for each level. Um, if you need a different level, you are welcome to contact me um, either by Class Dojo or by phone or text. Um, and let me know, um, you know, I think I need to go up a couple levels and I will make that happen. Okay, um, I thought we could do a little spiral review with math tonight. And so I wanted to show you things that weren't necessarily on the standards, but will be on the fourth quarter test. So if you remember, this is a rectangular array. We talked about um, vocabulary with that being that there are rows, rows go across and columns go down, and that if we count how many are in a row, we can make um, a repeated addition um, equation, and then we could also do that from the columns. So if you would count with me right here, let's do rows first. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we know the first one has five. Some of you can probably already guess what the second one is going to have. One, two, three, four, five. That's right, it's the same amount because it's a rectangle. So we can count that this row will also be five and that this row will also be five. So we have five plus five plus five plus five. Now you could add all those up and count all the dots for the total, or we could skip count by fives, which is a standard as well. So let's skip count. Five, 10, 15, 20. There are 20 circles in this rectangular array. You can do it a different way, a unique way, and that would be um, usually an extra credit way. Um, to count the columns. One, two, three, four. Okay, and thank you for counting along with me. And the next one, one, two, three, four. So we can see that this is also going to have the same amount all the way across. And you might wonder, well, how can it be the same because there are four fives, but there are five fours? Well, that's because four is less than five, so we have to add on the extra at the end. You can skip count by fours. Please watch your skip counting videos. I will be adding them to the technology resources that we have. If you skip counted by fours, it would be four, eight, 12, 15, or 16, 20, and so it would be the same number. And um, 
I know that we're good with our threes and our fives, but our fours need more work, so make sure that you're looking at that one. Um, and if you do look at the dance version of it, make sure you watch a second video because the dance version isn't very good at um, saying the numbers repeatedly. So um, this is a rectangular array. We've done everything we can do unless we want to differentiate upwards, in which case we could say that there are five in a row and four in a column. So five times four equals 20. If you don't get that yet, that's okay. It's a third grade concept. Um, looking down here, you may remember that the long hand is going to be um, the minute hand and the short hand is going to be the hour hand. So if we extended this line out, it would go to eight. So the hour is eight. And then we know that this part is tricky. This isn't 12, it is a zero, zero. And then we would count fives all around. So this would be five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. 25 minutes and you guys always do such a good job of remembering the 30 minutes down here Luckily though for us. It's just zero zero. So we have eight o'clock and uh, The last one that we'll do today has a lot of different ways that you could solve it. I'll read it for you first it says the minion had $12.53 the rainbow bunny had three dollar, three ten dollar bills, seven one dollar bills, six quarters, four dimes, two nickels, and five pennies. How much do they have all together? Um, one way that we could do this would be to draw the twelve dollars and fifty three cents, and then to add the other dollar bills and the other coins to that. Um, another way to solve the problem would be to draw this part first, see how much it is, and then add the two amounts. So let's draw the rainbow bunny amount first. And we know that we can combine some of these. So we have three $10 bills. And you guys know that a $20 bill is made by using two tens. So we can draw a $20 bill here and then if it was three $10 bills and we just drew two $10 bills how many would we still need three minus two is yes one ten so that we would have one more ten so one ten plus two tens is three tens. Then we have seven one dollar bills. Well, I would need you to think what oh, the one dollar bill is the smallest bill that we're dealing with. What is the next one up that we are dealing with? Um, could we draw that one? Yes, we could draw a five dollar bill. And if we drew a five dollar bill, how much would we have left? Well, seven minus five is two. So we could draw two $1 bills. Okay, there we go. Now we look at the quarters. We know that there are how many quarters in a dollar? Yes, there are four quarters in a dollar. So we could draw one dollar by using four of the quarters and then six minus four is one, two, three, two quarters left. 
Um, we know that two quarters makes how many cents? Yes, 50 cents. So we will draw two quarters. Okay, and we have used up all of that, so we'll cross it off. We have four dimes and two nickels. So nickels are worth how much? Yes, five cents. So two nickels, if we were to skip count, would be five, ten. So we would have um, one dime. And here we have four dimes. So four dimes and two nickels would also be five dimes. So I am going to make five dimes. Um, another way that you could have thought of this um, would be to make um, two quarters because 25 plus 25 is 50 cents and so we could have done five dimes or we could have done two more quarters. Um, no matter how we count this part though, if we do 25 plus 25 as 50 and continue to count 50 60, count with me, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100 cents is what? Yes, that's one dollar. So all of this becomes one dollar. So I'm just labeling that as one so we know it's one dollar. And then we still have, we did the dimes, we did the nickels. Um, we still have five pennies. So um, we could just make this a nickel because a nickel is five pennies. And we always start to count from the top. So let's count these together. 20, $30, $35, $36, $40, $37, dollars um, Because of my limited amount of space, I'm going to take some of this down in a second, but let me just for now, actually I'll take stuff down on the other side. $39.00. Five cents. You can either write it like this, that's the third grade way of writing it, or you can write it like this and label your dollars and cents. Okay, the the step that we still have not done is to find out how much the minion and the rainbow bunny had all together. That is our question. How much do they have all together? So you guys know that if you're using the cube method, you are underlining the question, you are circling any numbers within the problem, you can put boxes around things that you have a question about or about clues like all together. We know that all together is a clue because it points to addition, because it points to two elements at least coming together.